Where did you sneak off to again? <sighs> there you are, my little champion. You fight monsters every day, but you always flee to upstairs when the taverns fall. Perhaps I should start walking you on a bear hug every time we come back from a dungeon. <laughs> well, how else am I supposed to brag that I have the best partner? I don't understand how that's embarrassing. Well, we're the only party of two in the guild, and yet, we're still the ones who do the heavy lifting. Well, me, mostly, but that's not the point. My point is, whenever a formidable monster is found, we almost always get called in. When an experienced adventurers need help, <laughs> we're the first ones they call. If it's a tomb full of traps, we get called. <laughs> Even S-ranked parties call us for support, or sometimes ask us to join them officially. So, I don't really see what there is to be embarrassed about. Come on, let's go back downstairs. You deserve the recognition just as much as me. Uh, you're such a bore sometimes. Come on, you don't need to get drunk or anything, but you can loosen up a little bit every now and then. Come on, I'd be the last person to tell you to get along with people. Do you remember how I was just a few weeks ago? And I also don't particularly enjoy the celebrations either. I just like how far we've come as a team and, well, and most of all, I'd like you to feel happy about it too. And it's not like I'm boasting about your fighting prowess or anything. <laughs> well, what I mean is when I talk about you, it's always about how careful you are about making decisions and never putting us in too much danger. How considerate you are as a teammate. <laughs> For instance, during a fight, you're always in a position next to me, despite being more fragile. How you always ask me if I'm sure that I'm in perfect health multiple times before agreeing to depart anywhere. And <laughs> just last week, you went and spent your cut of the loot to order special armor made for me. You do realize for us Amazonians, it's tradition to not wear any armor in combat, but <laughs> since it's from you specifically, I don't know. Maybe breaking tradition isn't so bad every once in a while. <laughs> well, yes, maybe you're right. We are fighting the forces of the Demon Lord, and they aren't exactly honorable. But... Given that some of them we can actually communicate with, I don't see why there couldn't be some honorable demons out there as well. <laughs> I'd quite like to meet one if they're out there. But I guess what I was trying to say is, I just want you to have some fun. Obviously, the typical get drunk in a bar with friends isn't really your thing. <laughs> but, that's exactly why I want to get to know you better. You've been doing so much for me in this party and I don't even know what you like to do for fun. Well, I need to. Especially when I remember how we met. Don't remind me, I... I get angry just thinking about it. Jumping into fight a basilisk head on with no preparation whatsoever was... Uh, Kind of a hard lesson for me. Well, if you hadn't been there to use your weird lightning spell and managed to daze it temporarily, I probably wouldn't still be here. It really hurt my pride as a warrior a lot, but <laughs> then again, it, it makes me happy because that's how I got to know you. The first time I entered the guild room, you were lying on the table like a slug melting from salt. <laughs> yes, yes, it was you. I swear, the first impression of you I had was 
that's got to be the most pathetic human I've ever seen. Is he being eyesore on purpose? Waiting for the first brute that decides to put him out of his misery. I'm sorry, I'm just telling the truth. But that's exactly how you looked in a room full of trained adventurers. The contrast was just mind-boggling. If someone had told me then and there that you will be saved my life that night, I would have just laughed in their face. Besides, it's not like your posture has improved much since then. I would give you a massage, but you keep refusing for some reason. We're a party. Inviting is something I do perfectly, but I want to benefit with something besides that. Well, just like you're always taking care of things for us, I thought you might like celebrating with me as well. <laughs> because I want you to appreciate me as a teammate, as much as I do to you. To make you feel better, you know? But <laughs> I just don't know how. Just being there? What is that supposed to mean? Me just being here and, and talking with you makes you feel better? <laughs> well, I... Uh, how is that enough, though? Uh, no, no, you're mistaken. I... I... I must have eaten something spicy downstairs. Some... No... No, there's, there's no way I'm blushing just because of your cheesy rambling. It's not like you're serious, right? Every day since we've been a party, I've... I've been pondering things like... I wonder what would make him happy today. <laughs> maybe destroying the enemies more brutally today, or... Maybe carrying him all the way to the dungeon. Or... Perhaps you would like if I had the guild throw a party for him, or... Uh, maybe you would like if I gave him a... You know what? Never mind. Forget that. <laughs> In the end, it just... It just turns out to be something so mundane and simple that makes you happy. Just... <laughs> me being here talking. Uh, don't get me wrong. I, I know it's a privilege to be around me. But as... As far as being a conversation partner, don't I come off as a bit too direct or brutish for you? I figured an intellectual like yourself might not. <laughs> oh, you just think that makes us all the more compatible? Well, I suppose when you put it like that, yes, we... We do compliment each other. I'm happy you think that. Covering for each other's shortcomings and such. I suppose that's why we make such a good team. <sighs> yeah, I... I did come up here wanting to make you feel better, but... <laughs> instead, you made me feel better. <sighs> you always do it somehow, I... I don't understand it. Are you sure, though, that you just want to talk? Please, tell me if there's anything else. Are you sure? I'd like you to tell me for once what you would like me to do for you. <laughs> because clearly, parties are not your thing, and <laughs> I can't blame you. Oh, um... <laughs> Yeah, I... I didn't realize how close we were sitting until now. We... Kind of do that unconsciously sometimes. <laughs> okay, fine, fine. Maybe it is me who's steadily approaching you as we speak. It's just a habit for me trying to assert myself, I guess. <laughs> well, yeah... You don't see me assert myself when I argue with someone. Because I don't want to spoil the fight that's going to happen after. But. Every time I talk with you. I feel as if. Oh I. 
I got pretty close again, didn't I? <laughs> well, I... I suppose I'll call it a night here, and... You... Want me to get close again? Why? <laughs> you... Want me to sit next to you for a while? I mean... Sure, if... If that's what you want. How close... Oh, okay. That's, uh... Unexpected. You're... You're pulling me closer with your arm on my shoulder. There's... So many things I thought you'd ask me, but... For my embrace, I... Wait a minute. <laughs> this is really weird. You never act like this. Is something wrong? Did someone insult you, hurt you, or uh, just tell me who they are and I'll... No, there's, there's no way it's nothing. Are you really sure? Don't tell me you're dying or anything. Okay, fine, I'll... I'll calm down. I wasn't joking, though. You're usually so closed off, and now... <laughs> well, suddenly I find out you have emotions, and... That you finally trust me enough to open up to me more. I was just... Surprised. You're... Fine, though, right? No. Oh. <laughs> you're getting sleepy? Yeah, I... I did notice. <laughs> You're leaning on me completely now. Mm -hmm. Don't worry. I'll get you in your bed. Wait, I... I mean, I'll get you to your bed. Wait, th don't... Don't get up. I just... Happened to say it like that. I... Oh, you... <laughs> you actually want me to do something for you? <laughs> Finally. Okay, just... And tell me, what is it that you want me to do to you? Or, well, for you. G guess you, um, I mean, I mean, yes, I, I, I would like to, but, um, so you, you actually see me that way? Well, yes, yes, I am happy. And, and actually really relieved. I thought you only saw me as a fighting partner. I didn't really thought you'd see me as something more. I, I, hey, what? Why? <laughs> yes. Yes, I love you too. Of course I love you, silly. Do you see anyone else get attention from me like you do? That's what I thought. <laughs> yes. Yes, I do like this very much. How much closer we'll be from now on. <laughs> but at the same time, I... I also kind of hate it. <laughs> well, I think it'll make me weaker. No, no, it's, it's not a problem with you, it's, it's, just, now I have these feelings of worry now all of a sudden. Like, when we fight from now on, I'll, I'll be thinking more about protecting you than just slaying the enemy in front of me. It's, like, even my usual urge to fight is dying down, and I, I don't really understand why. You think you can make me feel stronger? How? You want me to pick you up? Like, pick you up how? Like, picking you up wouldn't be that hard for me. But, oh, you, you want me to give you a hug and, and lift you up? Well, okay, I... I suppose I can do that. And here we go. <laughs> and 
And now, <laughs> yeah, I, I suppose it does make me feel strong and, and also kind of weird. I mean, do you like this? I mean, when we fight, it's usually you who calls the shots and, and now for this, you're, you're letting me be in control. I like it too. <laughs> but aren't you going to feel embarrassed if someone else walks upstairs and sees us? <laughs> you think it would just make them envious? I mean, that must mean you really like it. <laughs> I'm happy. It never really crossed my mind you prefer taller women. <laughs> but now it all makes sense. So what I'm hearing is, you won't be embarrassed if I tackle and squeeze you with a hug in front of everyone. <laughs> well, I need to. It's my instinct as an Amazon. Everyone needs to know that I've claimed you. <laughs> what do you mean I don't need to? <laughs> Come on. Have some confidence. You're more than attractive enough. And... You have me now, which means I've deemed you worthy to provide you a strong and beautiful offspring. Uh, wait, that, that didn't exactly come out right. Um, I was just trying to say that my standards are very high, and so are you. So, don't go around feeling sorry for yourself. From now on, you're claimed. Keep in mind... I'm the jealous type. If a woman approaches you, you best evaporate. Unless you want me to evaporate them out of existence. Got it? <laughs> of course I won't. I'm kidding. Maybe. And you don't need to worry about me being faithful. Do you remember what happened to the last person who tried to flirt with me? I ended up throwing them through the table. <laughs> of course you remember. You ended up having to pay for that table after all. I'm sure you're glad you taught me that move. <laughs> Where did you learn that one anyways? The TV. Right, What? whatever this TV thing is, it must be a really good fighting school. As much as I enjoy fighting, though. Maybe we should think about what we want to do after we're done adventuring, though. To be honest, <laughs> this last few weeks, what I really enjoyed was fighting by your side. Not necessarily the fighting itself. <laughs> I don't know, it's, it's a bit cheesy coming from me, but, but it's the truth. Aww. Look at you. You're barely keeping your eyes open anymore. I suppose we can talk about this more tomorrow. <laughs> Do you want to just fall asleep in my lap here? Alrighty. <laughs> just stay there and let me massage your head. Help you fall asleep a little bit quicker. <laughs> Are you comfortable? Good. I never noticed before, but your hair is really smooth. <laughs> that shower thing you keep bragging about must must be really effective. You have to let me dry it sometime. I can never get all the monster guts out of my hair. <laughs> and while I'm thinking about it, why are bugbears called bugbears? I mean, they're not bears, and they're definitely not bugs either. If anything, they're they're just like Harry Goblin or something like that. And then on the other hand, there's there's owl bears, which that one actually makes sense. It actually does look like a combination of an owl and a bear. 
but <laughs> who knows? Someone probably just blew it out of proportion while telling a tale, and it just ended up sticking, just like most stories do. <laughs> when we end up discovering a new monster, I wonder what we'll name it. I mean, our names will be attached to it for the rest of eternity as the ones that named it, so it has to be a good one. But I also don't want to blow it out of proportion, you know? Like the whole bugbear thing. <laughs> but at the same time, who knows? They would say, I don't know, uh, something fun. It would be kind of funny if you gave it a really scary name like, um, Zalidora. Or then again, that's, that's more of a name than a story.